going everybody, it's your girl Simone Raquel back here again with another video after not being here for like two months but anyways I'm back here tonight. So tonight we're going to be talking about 10 things that I've learned since I've become a full-time freelance artist. It will almost be a year that I started this journey. If you want to watch how I started this journey, you can go and check out the video of how I became a full-time artist and quit my job. I'll link it somewhere up here. But anyways, if this is your first time here, hi everyone, my name is Simone Raquel and it would be nice if you could like, comment, share and subscribe. You can just join the art family, you know what I mean? All right, so let's get straight into the video. Oh wait, but before I get into the video, I'm having a little drink, or are you? This is not sponsored, but I'm drinking rum cream from Rhea Nephew. I love it. So lovely. Anyways, so before we start this video, cheers. Man, that's good. These, I think, are um, important things to know if you're on a journey similar or if you're just on a journey becoming an entrepreneur or something like that um, these are 10 things I think that will be very useful or helpful to you along this journey things I wish I knew before and just you know just just sharing the knowledge boo just sharing the knowledge that's what we're here for all right all right so the first thing is don't allow yourself to be discouraged by people when I say that, especially as an artist or a creative, when you tell people I'm an artist or I'm going to become an artist full time or whatever it is, entrepreneur or whatever, people are going to try and discourage you. They're going to be like, how are you going to make money by doing that? Can that support you? Um, it's not a steady thing. Every month is different. It's up and down. There's no real security Blah 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 blah. People aren't going to say that Don't make those people discourage you because if this is a path you want to take if this is something you're passionate about if this is something that fulfills you then do it and When you do something that you love and if it's something that can make money, the money will come eventually. If it doesn't come at the beginning, that's okay because you're just starting out. You need to build that name and a brand for yourself. So just trust the process and don't let people discourage you from doing what you really want to do. Because if you do, then you will never know if it can get you to where you want to go. So the second thing is don't be afraid to ask questions and ask for advice. No, you're not going to know everything in the beginning. And I definitely knew nothing in the beginning. Simple things like pricing. Um, thank God I knew how to do quotations so I could send people quotations and estimates. Little things like that. It's okay to ask people who have been in the business for longer or who have more experience. It's good to ask them questions. A lot of the times their advice can be very helpful and either save you a lot of time, save you a lot of money and just bring you further than you would have been if you did not ask questions or ask for advice. Just getting advice on the simplest things goes a far away and it just makes things easier and makes life easier. Third thing is supporting others can go a long way. I say that to say before I started this journey, I did not think of supporting people like how I think of it now. Right now as an entrepreneur and doing having and doing my own business, whenever someone supports me, just maybe out of the blue or for whatever reason, it's definitely a push to keep going and it's really encouraging when someone supports you, especially if it's people that you don't even talk to. One person reposting your post and you have two or three people that follow you from that post, you never know who those two or three people are and you never know who's watching. And especially when other people see you supporting people, they will definitely respect you a lot more because it's not like you're trying to be selfish or it's not like you're trying to be like, oh, I'm the only person doing this, so you need to have all the attention on me. No, there's other people out there doing the same thing you're doing or doing something similar. And support them. Or just anybody just doing something for themselves. Whenever someone is doing something for themselves, to get that support is just 
it's just such a big deal. In supporting people, I've gained opportunities through doing that. I have not supported people to get opportunities, but because of that support that I've given to others, I myself have gotten opportunities just from opening up and you build relationships with people in the field when you support them because they see that, yo, I respect what you do. And you can start a conversation by doing that and you can learn things from other people as well. Now, number four is to take breaks. Taking breaks, especially as a creative and just as a person in general, is very important because the world is so fast paced. I mean, now that Corona has kind of slowed things down, but things are picking back up. To take a break is necessary because you need to step back from what you're doing so that you can go back with a clear mind. And taking a break is not wasting time because taking those breaks help you to step back, analyze what you've done and come back and see what you need to do. Um, the fifth one is don't wait on inspiration to get a job started. And I've seen something before where it said motivation is garbage. It's kind of in the similar, it's kind of similar. So a lot of the time we wait on inspiration or motivation to get things done. But really and truly that's just a moment that you're waiting on. If this is something you're using to support yourself and to make a living, you can't wait on inspiration. If you wait on inspiration, then you're going to starve. Number six is to promote promote and promote yourself more don't be afraid to put yourself out there and put everything that you have done and that you can do out there even if you don't like it because if you don't like it somebody else may like it and you never know who and when you promote yourself people see you promoting yourself so people see you doing something about they don't just see you sitting down waiting on things to happen. They see you pushing yourself forward. Make sure you help yourself and put yourself out there and promote what you can do. And you never know who is watching you. When I tell you, you never know who is watching, you never know who is watching. Because people can recommend you. People can send other people to you. People can see you doing what they're doing and then one day something come up and they think about you instantly because you're always promoting yourself doing this certain thing. I cannot stress enough how important it is to promote yourself. The more you promote yourself, the more work you get. And the more work you get, the more work you get. If you're not doing anything, you're not going to get any work, if that makes sense. That makes sense? I hope that makes sense. And number seven is to be patient with yourself and your work. So in the beginning, I was very impatient. I used to want to get jobs done in a week, two weeks, and I would rush them but they wouldn't come out how I wanted them to come out and I wanted to know everything instantly but at the end of the day you're not going to know everything instantly take your time take the time that you need the the rushing really makes it not the quality that you would want it to be if you did not rush things happen over time and as long as you be patient with yourself and you enjoy the process and you just be in the moment then it will come in time what you want to do or what you're doing it will come out really good and it will just happen the way it's supposed to happen number eight if you're an artist or if you're somebody like me i do not like dealing with numbers or words or anything admin related but if you're running your own business you have to and if you want to reach a certain place you have to track your earnings write down everything keep every receipt track your money and i said that to say as an artist every month is not the same you can have a month where you make three hundred thousand dollars and the next month you make fifty thousand dollars or twenty thousand dollars if you have to get an accountant get an accountant and just make sure you just try and set your things straight on the business end. In the beginning, I was not looking at how much I was earning. And when I say earning, I don't mean everything. Because in a price of something, you have the material cost, you have the time, you have this and that. When I say that, I mean profit. When I started to track how much I was earning, I realized I was not earning as much as I thought I was. So when you look at those numbers and you realize, okay, I'm not making as much as I thought I did, so I need to up my prices, or I need to do this, or I need to do that. Keep track of just 
everything financially so that you can grow financially that is basically the point i'm trying to make so number nine is running a business is not easy don't go into it thinking that it is easy because there are so many factors to it that people don't talk about and it can get really challenging at times especially when it's you and your business and your name on the logo and your reputation it's really hard to run a business you have to take losses you have to deal with clients you have to deal with everything basically it's not easy and what i've experienced is your brain never stops working you keep thinking about ways to make it better you keep thinking about the work you have to do you keep thinking about your clients you keep like you literally your brain does not stop if you're running your own business and number 10 is something that i have had to come to terms with is something that i have learned more and more every single day is that i don't have a clue as to what i'm doing i literally don't have a clue but guess what that is okay I'm willing to learn, I'm willing to improve, and I'm willing to grow as a person, as an artist, and just with any if anything I'm doing, really. So don't think you know everything. Even when you do know a lot, you still don't know everything. There's still ways to improve it. There's still ways to do things differently to make it better and easier. And if when you just start out and you feel like you don't know anything, it's okay. So... You just have to trust the process and yeah so those are my 10 things that i will say are important to know and 10 things that i've learned through this year and through this process of becoming a freelance artist full-time i hope that helped you guys in one way or another if you want me to make a video on any of these things that i have mentioned please comment down below that's the end of the video i hope this helped you guys one way or another But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you. Um, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll try my best to come back with another video. Hopefully next week. There's a lot going on in my life right now. So it's a bit shaky. But hopefully next week I'll come back with another video. And something. If you guys comment something that you want to see. Then I will do a video on it. So I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.